Are you going to the meeting, George? How did you know my name? I know everything about you, George. I'm Acton's guardian angel, Clarence Oddbody. Angel, second class. So you going to the meeting? Not a chance. I'm tired of those meetings. They never make a difference. I remember years ago, we were trying to plan a new Kelly's Corner. Yes. Everyone was so excited. Yes. And nothing happened. We'd be better off if we just never even had those meetings. <gasps> Don't say that, George. Don't say that. Very important things happen. Oh, but that's an idea, George. Yes. Yes. Very well, George. You've got your wish. What's this? This is the future of Acton after those planning meetings didn't happen. A lot of important things didn't happen without those meetings. Yeah? Like what? Like sidewalks and safe spaces for people to walk and bike. Oh, she can't see you, George. You're seeing Acton's future. Years ago, citizens didn't vote to spend the budget to maintain sidewalks. And they didn't take the time to create a vision for Acton that resulted in a sense of community and created safe spaces and welcoming neighborhoods for people to walk and bike. This is awful. That's really dangerous. Don't you see, George? The things you could have done at those meetings really were important. This is crazy. Oh, there are things that have happened that are far worse than this, George. Far worse. What? What is that? That's what you got when nobody was planning, George. And now it's bursting at the seams. Jeez, it's so... How could something like this happen? And there's more than ever happened, George. Like historic preservation and economic development. What happened? There were so many plans for West Acton Village. Economic redevelopment, new businesses moving in, the buy local shopping campaign, the farmer's market. What happened to all of that? George, many of the discussions that would have advanced those plans happened at the Acton 2020 meeting, the one you don't want to attend. Those plans never happened because you weren't there to make them. And no one else was either, George. So the buy local campaign never happened, and the shop owners went out of business. I can't believe this. This is awful. Acton had so much potential. Yes. We were listed in the top 20 small towns of America, for Pete's sake. Yes, but George, this is not the worst of it. No, no, no. Don't show me anymore. No. I, I can't take any more of this. Not seeing is not an option, George. This is your future. You chose it by not participating. This isn't possible. We have bylaws restricting the size of commercial buildings to 40,000 square feet. This could never be built. You had those bylaws, George, but they were changed years ago at town meeting. Not enough citizens participated in protecting Acton's open space and recreation areas. And when you don't participate, this is what you get. This is impossible. This can't be! No! Yes, I do want to participate. I do want to help in our town's future. Of course you do, George. Come on, the meeting's in here. I love our town so much because we because I love our schools and our restaurants and people here and it's just a very wonderful place to be here. And I think that one of the main reasons why people come here is because of the wonderful schools we have here. 1979, I moved out here, uh, which was coming up on to 32 years. I had three teenage daughters at the time, and I wanted to find a place where they had an excellent school system, and Acton was the place. What I'd like Acton to have is some place in the, in the relatively center of the town where people could assemble on a warm evening and have music and fun and like I experienced in, in Davis Square last night. Acton is a wonderful town, but it needs a town center. Uh, the most logical place is Kelly's Corner. I like that everyone in Acton is really nice and accepting of others and I feel really safe in this town like when I go to school and uh, walking around town with my friends. I like how um, West Acton has like a village feel like everything is like connected and there's like a library and 
um, barber shop and a bank, and it's like a community. It's my hope for the future of Acton that that community spirit remains and that we continue to invest in our community in creative and sustainable and intelligent ways. I thought it's a wonderful act and showed a great vision of what could happen if we do not help each other in planning our future. We will become Waltham West unless we preserve our historic buildings, our open spaces, and change the bylaws to help that in happening. Come to the meeting, June 23rd, 6.30. Thank you. I really enjoyed the show. I think it's very clever and very creative and a, a way to uh, pinpoint how important it is that people participate. We know for sure that the town is going to change over the next 10 to 15 years, and this is the best opportunity for people to influence what that change will be so that we can make sure that we preserve the things we really care about in the town and we steer the, the, the sorts of changes that occur to be towards the things we want more of. So I think it was a great show. I really enjoyed it and I hope a lot of people end up participating uh, in the, um, the planning meeting on, Oct on uh, June, 20th, June 23rd. Thank you. I thought it was a great way to engage people. It's a fresh approach, and the fact is we have so many bright, talented, diverse people in this town, it's really important to get people involved. Okay, well, we came tonight and didn't really know what, quite what this was all going to be about and have discovered that um, Acton is having a having a program, I don't, can't think of the right word, to uh, stimulate people to pay more attention to the community we live in. And I think it's a wonderful start. And I think that people that hear about it will want more, more out of their living um, conditions in Acton if the developments are made as these enthusiastic people seem to be hoping for. Um, I've been here for since 1972, and I've loved living in Acton. We didn't raise our children here, but I think it's a wonderful community to have a family life, uh, a decent lifestyle, and um, a lot of things that are not available to many people in the world today. So that's my take on Acton. Well, I really love the film. I've been an Acton resident since 1993. And yet I haven't been involved in any of the town's activities in terms of um, planning. Um, I, had, I came in 1993 because the town had good schools and that's what drew me here. I had grown up in Westford and my parents lived in the town of Carlisle. So I had some connections. Um, but I really didn't get involved in town issues. And so this film was really great because it really drove home what can happen when a town doesn't do planning. Um, and doesn't create ways for people to connect. Because I remember when I moved in 1993, one of the big issues that I saw was um, a lot of housing going up in old farmlands. And I wondered, what the heck's going on in Acton? And at that time, there was a local town newspaper that was not the Beacon, it was the Acton something or other, I forget it. Um, and I asked the woman who was the editor, and she talked about that there was this big developer who was really building a lot of things. So that's what really made me think about the town and how it was losing its character. Um, and now that I've gone through the cycle of raising my son, um, who's now attending community college, I think more in terms of how could Acton be a more connected community? Um, because I, there are a lot of different income levels living in the town. Not everyone can afford to live in the big houses. Um, and so how can we encourage everyone to have a voice in the town? So that's what we really liked about the film, because it really created that sense of what can happen when you don't participate. So I think it was an excellent idea. And I'm someone who works professionally as a consultant in terms of helping everyone have a voice and a say in their organizations. So the same thing for the community. So it was great. Hi, I'm Nancy Shaw from North Acton, and I really enjoyed the film. I think it was very creative, made a very good point, and we definitely do need a town center where people can meet and, you know, listen to music and go to cafes, restaurants, um, have, so, have, have a community. We already have a really strong community right now in Acton, but we, we do need a, a center place where all the members of the community can join and meet. Um, I'm really glad I came here tonight.
Thanks so much. It, it, it was a great movie. I, I think it was. Uh, it showed when you know people to get together, they can do a very good job, and it really got on the importance of volunteering, um, taking interest in the community to make sure it comes. It, the community comes around the way that people really want it to be. So uh, I encourage everyone to take part in the meeting, and um, it was uh, it was a very good effort. Thank you.